ChatGPT has rolled out tasks and they're pretty easy to set up. I'm gonna show you how you can do it, explain what you should know about this feature, and also give you some examples of how I'm using GPT tasks. So you're gonna need a premium subscription to ChatGPT. Once you've logged in, simply select the dropdown and then look for GPT-40 with schedule tasks. Now it is worth noting that it's in beta and there are some quirks and bugs which I will point out. Perhaps these will be changed by the time you've tested this new feature. Once you've done this, you'll get access to a dialog box that looks like your pretty standard GPT interface. The only difference is you can use natural language or a natural prompt to give GPT a task that it will remind you about. Let me show you how it works. Every morning I do one simple thing. I write and send a daily newsletter to my list. And you can actually subscribe to my list over at briancollins.com. So I started with this prompt to give me ideas for things to write about. Remind me every morning to write a daily email so I'm explaining to GPT what I wanted to do. I'm explaining who my target audience is, in this case creators, and I'm, and I'm explaining the topic. And I'm telling ChatGPT it should give me three to five ideas for topics I can cover. Now, because GPT tasks is in beta, it initially just outputted some topic suggestions. So pretty much like your standard GPT output. So I changed it slightly and I said, create a task. Remind me every morning and then I put in the exact same prompt. Now every morning at 9 a.m., I'm gonna get a notification from GPT that will have outputs like this. I'll get this on my mobile device. I'll get this over email and also inside the GPT app. And if I click on the tree ellipsis, I can go in and I can edit the name for the task in question. I can edit the instructions and I can also change the schedule from daily, weekly, monthly, annually, and so on. And I can also pause and delete the task. And I can also use the dialog box at the bottom of GPT to allow or disable notifications. Now I'm personally not a huge fan of notifications because I find them distracting. So I'm gonna turn this off. I created seven or eight different tasks last week. So let me show you what some of these are like. So if I click on my face and then go over to tasks, you can see all of the tasks that I've scheduled are set up. So I have one that's gonna send me a news summary about what's happening with AI. One about daily emails, which we just covered. Some advice for training for a triathlon because I'm training for one. A motivational quote so I can start work. And also a prompt that will help me repurpose some of my content for LinkedIn. Now, if I head over to my email, you can see exactly what some of the outputs look like. So here's a prompt, draft today's email now. And if I click on view message, I get access to a feed, which basically has the outputs from all of my different tasks. So let me show you another one. Here's a triathlon training tip. Incorporate strength training twice a week with a focus on compound lifts, dot, dot, dot. If I click on view message, I can see the feed and I can find the exact output with a little bit more context. And basically my email has now become a type of task manager based on whatever I put inside of ChatGPT. I also get these notifications sent directly to my mobile device. And this can be handy if I'm out and about and I forget to do something. Now clearly there are some limitations here. I don't see this as replacing my preferred task manager, which is Trello. And I have other videos on the channel where I do a deep dive into how I use Trello for blogging, for content management, and even for this channel. So be sure and check those out. But I don't see GPT Task Manager replacing Trello because I have to read through all of these outputs one by one to find what I'm looking for. And it doesn't really have a lot of context or a lot of extra information. But it is a good starting point and I can certainly see how this could be built out uh, as a type of personal productivity manager. So what could you use GPT Tasks for? Well, you could use GPT Tasks to send yourself motivational quotes like I've done here, to give yourself tips or advice for whatever personal project you're working on for example, training for a triathlon, to give yourself prompts for content creation projects, like the daily email prompt that I showed you at the start of the video, and also to remind you to do certain things for your business, for example, repurposing content for LinkedIn. Now, I did set up this prompt to send me a summary of what's happening with AI, so basically any news stories I may have missed out on. And it sends me this bullet point summary every Friday. And it also has the sources for each one of these news stories. So I can click through and read about each one of them and see what's happening uh, in the space. Now, this was relatively useful. It was nice to get a little digest like this. And it's certainly something that I'll probably read on my mobile device and a task that I'll keep. However, it is pretty similar to what you can get from a standard Google News update over email, which is of course free to set up. Hope you found this video helpful. 
It's part of a playlist where I explain how you can write and create content with AI. So be sure and check out the rest of the playlist. And let me know if you have questions in the comments section below.